Test 1 review number 14. Factor the trinomial. First thing we do, look for GCF. And there aren't any. So we're going to go ahead and factor the trinomial into two binomial factors. And what we want is factors of 18. And I'm going to use the shortcut method again, but let me know if you want to see this one done out with the grouping method instead. So factors of 18, 18 times 1, 9 times 2, or 6 times 3, that multiply onto the 2, or the factors of 2, which would be 2 times 1. And the factors of 2 have to be opposite signs. That means the binomial is going to have opposite signs to give us the minus 2 at the end here. So if they're opposite signs, the middle terms are going to tend to cancel each other out. So we're looking for a difference of a middle term of minus 9. So let's look at all the combinations of what can happen here and just start thinking about which ones are going to give us a minus 9 or a 9 difference. I could have 18 hitting the 2, 36, 1 hits the 1, not a difference of 9. I could have the 18 hitting the 1, and the 1 hitting the 2, that's not going to give us a difference of 9 either. So then I skip down to the 9's, the 9 times 2. I could have 9 times 2, which is 18, and 2 hits the 1, which is 2, that's not a difference of 9. I could have 9 hits the 1, 9, 2 hits the 2, 4, still not a difference of 9. I could have 6 hitting the 2, 12, 3 hitting the 1, 3, there it is, there's the difference of 9 that we're looking for. So that means we're going to want to use, in our binomial factoring, the, let's put it down here again, 6, M, and M for the front term, whoops, and 3M, forgot that little guy there. All right, so 6 and a 3 for the 18 with an M, and now at the end, we're going to have N's at the end, and that's how we're going to end up getting the N in the middle and the N squared at the end here. So if you just kind of plop them at the end of your binomial, you'll be all set. And let's see, we want to have 2 times 1, where the 6 and the 2 are going to hit and create a middle term. 6 and 2 hit, and then that will give us the middle term of 12, and this one right here, 1 and 3m will give us the middle term of 3. And then we'll have the correct difference of minus 9, as long as we give the minus sign to the 12, because it's going to be the bigger combination, and the plus to the 3. So let's rewrite that and just check it out and make sure it foils out to give us the correct answer, or to give us what we started with in the first place. 6m times 3m, so we get 18m squared. And then we have minus 12mn plus 3mn, which would be minus 9mn, minus 2n squared, and that checks out with the original problem we had to factor, which means this is the correct answer.